Hi, my name is Emil. I'm a founder and CEO at Tomorrow Bio. At Tomorrow Bio, we're of course running a cryopreservation provider here in Europe, covering all of Europe, now slowly expanding to the US as well. But of course, if you want to have an overview of all the other cryopreservation organizations in the world, then I would say that there are five relevant organizations. There might be some smaller ones as well, of course, but five are the main, the main ones. The two original ones, of course, are in the US, the ones that have been around for the longest. There's Alcor in Arizona, there's the Cryonics Institute or CI in Michigan. And then if you go from there to the east, and as I just said, there's us in Europe here, there's Tomorrow Bio being in Berlin, in Germany, and the European Biostasis Foundation for Long-Term Storage, which is the foundation that does the long-term storage in Switzerland. And if you go further east from there, you have uh, Ying Feng in China, and last but not least, Southern Cryonics in Australia. All of these organizations have kind of a similar approach to cryopreservation, but of course they differ as well, kind of how they're organized, what is you know, what they offer, what it costs, and so on. So kind of to give a ballpark understanding, let me briefly give a summary. And please look at their individual web pages to make sure that you know, all my, my data is actually up to date. By and large, I would say there are kind of two main or three main separate or differentiation criteria. One is what area do they cover? Second one being how much does it cost and what's included in that cost? And last but not least, what kind of technique, what kind of cryopreservation or in general preservation technique do they use? Alcor and us, we're relatively expensive, but it's like kind of an all-in thing. So you sign up with one of these organizations, all SST, so standby stabilization and transport is included with medical teams and then indefinite long-term storage is also included. The price for whole body preservation is in the ballpark of 200,000 euros, US dollars. With Chronics Institute, they go a slightly different way. The price for uh, preservation there is significantly more affordable. It's more in the range of 30,000 US dollars, but all SST is not included there, right? So you need a separate provider that does the you know, standby stabilization and transport and makes sure that when you arrive at the cryopreservation facility for long-term storage, that the quality of the preservation was actually done well until you're there, which of course is, at least in our opinion, the primary and most important consideration that everybody should think. Storage, everybody can basically do as long as the structure and the governance is built to you know, ensure long-term stability and safety. But SST is really where you know, the quality is being decided. Then with Ying Feng in China, there's slightly less information about them. I'm not even 100% sure if you can sign up as a European citizen or as a US citizen, for example. To my understanding, you cannot. They're slightly more private about how exactly you know, signing up with them works, uh, what it costs and so on and so on. I would refer to, to their own webpage, checking out some talks they've given. Maybe there's more information about that. And then the newest organization that is just getting started, Southern Cryonics in Australia, Australia has kind of a similar model to what we do. Separate organizations do separate things. So they have an organization for storage. They have a separate organization for SST. In fact, technically Alcor does the same, where certain regions of the SST coverage is done by either suspended animation or by ICE, international cryomedical experts, kind of like a combi model. And then one more important factor is, as I said, is coverage. What, what areas do they cover? Southern Cryonics, to my understanding, currently only covers Australia. In Feng, my understanding is that they only cover the greater region of China and then maybe some surrounding areas. We currently only cover Europe and as I said now with certain points in the US kind of getting our feet onto that continent as well. We will of course expand over time but we will only expand once we can ensure that we have good SST capabilities either through partners or through our own teams in these regions. As we in the very beginning have decided by and large SST is the most important factor for good quality cryopreservations and we don't want to you know offer service where then we wouldn't be able to get good SST possible. CI and Alcor do cover the world. You can sign up wherever you are. In the CI case you would need to find then a local SST provider which in large parts of the world in my opinion is not possible. There just aren't any SST providers and there are definitely no professional SST providers in pretty much I would argue almost everywhere apart from parts of the US and then parts of Europe. And then with Alcor being the same you can sign up wherever you are in the world whereas then Alcor 
has partners to do SST. In the US, it would be suspended animation or ICE. And if it's an international case, in most cases, it will be ICE. And then there are some local partners here and there. But by and large, same problem. Some regions just don't have good coverage, which is not a problem that we, in my mind, can solve soon. It's just a fundamental problem of logistics. That's why we said initially we will only cover regions where we have a reasonable assumption that we can do SST well. Last but not least, it would be the comparison of what kind of technology they use. Um, what, what they go for. Every organization, as far as I'm aware, goes for a vitrification-based approach. So cooling the body down, sure, but then replacing water in the blood in the, in the body against the cryoprotective agent that then, once you cool down further, goes into a vitrified state. We talked many times about it. Check out the other videos on that topic where it's like a glass-like amorphous state. There are technically other types of preservation. And in fact, we are working on some to, under certain circumstances, for example, if there's very, very high degree of ischemia switch to one of these other methods, which might then under those circumstances lead to better preservation quality. Still pretty much a research topic, but in the future that might be the case. These other types of preservations would be mostly what is called combination of vitrification and chemical fixation, for example, aldehyde stabilized cryopreservation, or ASC, or approaches where you would first do an immersion, which is called immersion vitrification, where you would do an earth first an immersion in a chemical fixative and then after that do a cryoprotection as well kind of have this best of of two worlds this is for example one of the techniques that we are work, currently working on researching on to maybe do this procedure under very very ischemic conditions because that would lead to higher quality i know the least about uh, ying feng or the other ones we are in regular contact i would say hey these are organizations if you're close to them this makes sense to to sign up with them with some as i said for example with ci you would need to make sure that you also have good SST plans and have signed up with an SST provider and have a good plan how that would work. With the other ones, it is basically, in my mind, a question of where you are. One of the reasons we cover Europe, but we would not allow anybody to sign up if they're, let's say, in Asia or if they, you know, in, in regions that we do not get to plan to cover in the US. So if you're in the US, I would recommend these two organizations that I mentioned. If you're in Australia, that organization makes sense. In China, I'm not exactly sure, but Ying Feng seems to be the predominant, if not only, organization there. And then if you're in Europe, I think it makes sense to consider us. So if you want to learn more about this topic, feel free to reach out to us at any point. We're more than happy to discuss where we see our advantages and when we would recommend other organizations with you in a personal call or email, of course. More than happy to talk. And of course, also check out all the other crowd preservation organization webpages, especially if you're somewhere out of Europe. Talk to you soon and feel free to leave a comment below subscribe and click the notification bell.